Larry Burke had no intention of starting a magazine. But in 1973, after five years exploring remote regions of Africa, South America, the Middle East, Russia, and places too many to name, there was no magazine that covered the adventurous lifestyle that had come to define him. So he started his own. Never mind that he had no experience as a writer, editor, or publisher, Larry had a vision. It wasn't easy convincing advertisers that the outdoor craze was for real. But if anyone could do it, it was Larry Burke. The first issue of Outside appeared in 1977 and very quickly found its footing. Over the following years, Larry and Outside essentially bushwhacked the entire outdoor category of popular media. He sent writers to the top of Everest, to the bottom of forbidding river gorges, and they came back with stories that thrust people into the wild places, kickstarting the adventure travel and adventure sports revolution. We all know how the story goes and is still going, but that's not why we're here tonight. We're here tonight to honor the man who, in many ways, put all of us on the map. Over the past four plus decades, no one has done more to inspire more people to get outside than Larry Burke. He gave us a voice, and in countless ways, he grandfathered the outdoor recreation industry, which currently generates 2% of the entire U.S. gross domestic product, making it a bigger industry than oil and mining. He's helped small brands become big brands, help big brands become agents for change. And most importantly, through a steadfast commitment to old school storytelling and journalism, encourage millions of people to get outside and live bravely. The brand's tagline. Neither the brand nor the man show any signs of slowing down, as Outside continues to realize Larry's original vision, to make the outdoors a more welcoming and inclusive place, regardless of who you are, where you live, or how old you are. It doesn't matter whether you're jogging in Central Park or climbing a mountain, said Larry. If you're not getting outside, you're missing a big part of being alive. It's everything I could have ever wanted to do with my life. If I had to start over again, I would do it exactly the same way. 